hi guys it's good to be back i haven't made a video in a while and today i have this monochromatic blue green kind of red sultry look for you it's very dramatic but i think that you guys will probably be inspired in your own way to recreate this look if you're interested in what you see please stay tuned for the tutorial okay guys so let's get started before we get started, I just want to tell you a few things that I've already done for time purposes. I just want, kind of wanted to cut back on time. I've already put on my foundation, I've already highlighted my face, and I've set both sides of my eye with powder. On this side of my eye, you can visibly see the powder because I'm going to leave it here as I do my eyeshadows to, one, to um, bake under my eye so I can have a brighter highlight under my eyes and also to catch any fallout as I do my eyeshadow look so when I finish doing my eyeshadow look I'm gonna simply brush it away and it'll look like this side a little a more highlighted and after that I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna highlight not highlight I've already done that I'm gonna contour my face okay so the first thing well the palette that I'm gonna be using today is the modern Renaissance palette as I used in my last video and the first color that I'm gonna be using is this color it's called burnt orange I don't know if you can quite see it but it's kind of like a it's kind of like a peanut butter color if you have the chocolate um, chocolate bar and I'm just gonna just use it as my transition color because it's very neutral and I, I'm using a somewhat tapered fluffy brush it's a Sigma E35 and I use it on the eye that I had on um, I use it on this eye so I'm kind of getting a little bit of red tone with it but it's okay because I'm gonna be using red ochre in the modern Renaissance palette next so you can kind of see it it's a really soft um, brown color it's really pretty and I'm just using it as my transition color I'm gonna go in with red ochre, which is the red color that comes in the modern Renaissance palette here. And I'm just gonna fill in some of my outer lid space. And I'm gonna be buffing it out all around here. I'm gonna be buffing this all out very lightly. And I'm gonna stay under my transition color, a little bit under my transition color. So I'm not gonna be working up here. I'm gonna be working like in this area. And this Modern Renaissance palette has a lot of fallout, so make sure you tap your brush so you're not getting a lot of product on your face in places that you don't want it, of course. So I'm just buffing it in a circular motion. And it's, it looks quite red and I'm just gonna buff it in and you don't need a lot of this just work with what you have you don't have to keep dipping your brush because this color is somewhat dramatic okay so the next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna go in and this is a um, MAC pigment it's called, it looks like this. It's, it's called, I believe it's called Blue Brown. It's kind of um, like a chrome color. It's a very strange, it kind of looks green, but it looks blue, but it looks red. We're gonna go in with that color with a flat brush. And this is the brush that I'm using with the flat brush. And we're gonna pack it I'm gonna spray it with some of my Fix Plus spray. Just, since it's a loose pigment, I really could've just used one spray. But because it's a loose pigment, I don't want a lot of fallout. Um, I don't want a lot of fallout. So I'm gonna wet my brush and it just helps the product get on my lid ease, more easy. And I'm just gonna pack it in this area here. If you use the um, 
if you use the fix plus spray it just helps it transfer to your lid more smoothly without all of the fallout you may have some but you won't have as much and I'm just packing this on my lid from this area over Can you see that's all I'm doing and I'm just gonna with the red just the brush that you use for the red okri you can just no products I'm just gonna go in and just buff because you want you always want everything to be seamless and it's already looking really good now with a and I don't know what to call this brush the brush looks somewhat kind of rounded here like dome like you want a brush like this because we're gonna use it in our crease area in this inner in this V area and we're gonna carry it on our crease to get this smoky look right here so you kind of want a brush like this because it's gonna the shape of the brush will allow you to work more easily in this area and I'm gonna go in with cypress umber it's a dark brown color here and we're gonna work in our inner V section and we're gonna um, work that over you don't need a lot of product because cypress umber it's pretty um it's pretty dark and we don't want it to be too dark this is already a very dramatic look and we're gonna have a very dramatic lip like always I'm extra so we're gonna take the cypress umber and we're gonna go ahead and start working in this V area and you can kind of almost feel your eye socket you can feel it in that crease area you don't want to go too far up like I kind of not not really you don't want to go too far up you just want to work in this crease area and I'm gonna flick this brown shade out a little bit I'm gonna flick it out I'm dipping my brush and tapping it again and I'm gonna press lightly you don't want to poke yourself in the eye hurt yourself but I'm gonna press on my lid and you can kind of see the outline of your lid here and we're gonna really work this into our lid I'm gonna go in with more and I'm gonna really try to deepen this area I'm gonna go in again This is what kind of makes this look a little bit multi-dimensional because you have this part that makes it, it kind of deepens the look. It deepens. It just deepens the look and it makes it so much more, to me, cuter. Um, and once you've done that, I'm just going to go around once more and I'm calling like once in my socket area, this area right here. And you're not poking yourself or hurting yourself please don't go back in with the brush that you use for the red okri and you're gonna buff this out you're gonna buff it out buff it out buff it out girl I'm gonna buff it out so that it looks seamless and that for the most part oh no it's not go ahead and get pretty much any small brush it can be tapered and fluffy like this one we're gonna go ahead and highlight under this brow bone area I'm gonna go ahead and use um, Ver Vermeer in the palette at the top Vermeer here you really can't see it yeah I'm just gonna use Vermeer and I'm going to just put it, and you can use any color that you like to highlight with. It just makes it look a little bit more dramatic, which is something that we love to do. We love dramatic looks. And you don't need a lot. I usually just like the hair. Really pretty. Her mirror is really pretty, though. It's really pretty. Okay. So, I will be back 
with my lashes on and we will do the lips together. So I'll see you in a sec. Lastly guys, I'm using the Studio Shine Lip Luster in the color Katrina. And it's from LA Splash. And that will complete our look. a matte color this is okay guys this is the completed makeup look let me give you guys a peek I'm enjoying this look because it's very grunge it is really dramatic and I think it fits my personality to the fullest so I hope you enjoyed this look and if you did and if you are inspired in any kind of way to create this look in your own way please subscribe comment and like this video I will see you guys soon and yeah see you later